Um, uh, continuing with our discussion of uh, lesions associated with chronic otitis, uh, next to discuss is granulation tissue. Granulation tissue is uh, much more common than cholesteatoma. Uh, they're characterized on CT by lack of mass effect and absence of destructive characteristics. Uh, they enhance, uh, uh, and it enhances, typical and granulation tissue enhances uh, with gadolinium as we have in this case. Uh, it's important to know, I suppose, uh, that uh, cholesteatoma and granulation tissue may coexist. This patient has an aggressive middle ear and mastoid lesion. Centrally, we have the non-enhancing cholesteatoma. Peripherally, we have the enhancing granulation tissue. Uh, cholesterol granuloma is, uh, is not a cholesteatoma, uh, although it is a manifestation of chronic otitis media. The histologic distinction between the two is that cholesterol granuloma is lined by fibrous connective tissue and not uh, keratinized stratified squamous epithelium. Uh, cholesterol granulomas are hemorrhagic and therefore uh, otoscopically uh, vascular. Uh, the key, uh, when told that the patient has a uh, vascular retrotympanic mass, is the history of chronic otitis. And MR is uh, uh, virtually diagnostic due to the T1 hypersignal. Uh, cholesterol granuloma, we have uh, debris, non-erosive non debris in the middle ear, and um, T1 hypersignal uh, throughout on this non-enhanced uh, non T1 weighted uh, image. Uh, differential diagnosis of aggressive middle ear masses in children. This is, this is brief. Uh, first, we have rhabdomyosarcoma. Uh, this is the most common primary middle ear malignancy in children. Uh, indiscriminate is class, characterized by indiscriminate bone destruction, which would be atypical for cholesteatoma. Uh, only 7% of uh, head and neck rhabdos arise in the middle ear. 30% uh, are hemorrhagic and associated with painless, painless, painless bloody otorrhea. They uh, arise either from uh, intrinsic musculature or from primitive mesenchymal rests. And they master, masquerade uh, clinically as chronic otitis. And this is really very important. Uh, most, of, most of these cases uh, are carried along for a period of time as chronic otitis before their study. Uh, Langerhans cell histiocytosis also masquerades clinically as chronic otitis. Uh, these is, this, this entity is bilateral in 30%. Uh, often there's a lytic lesion with an enhancing mass. Uh, Petrus apex disease is not uncommon with uh, LCH. Uh, they're also characterized by indiscriminate bone destruction, which would be atypical for cholesteatoma. And the histology is the Langerhans cell, which are uh, histiocytes containing so Burbeck granules. I, I don't really know what they are, but okay. So here's here we here we have our next case. This is.